Hey guys, it's Jen Martin, the MS Wellness Coach. Thank you so much for joining in with me. In case you're not familiar with who I am, I am a Master Certified Health and Wellness Transformational Coach. And not too long ago, I found myself in a position where I was uh, plagued with chronic fatigue due to MS and found out it also had progressed to secondary progressive MS. So, uh, you know, I know that with MS, it's very hard sometimes to figure out how to have a good day. And, you know, we all have problems. We all have challenges. We all have, you know, things that we have to kind of, you know, get through, especially amidst the COVID-19 situation. So I found that to have a good day, to have a happy day, I wake up in the morning and I fill in my gratitude journal. I, I am thankful for, and then I fill in the blank, and I repeat that five times. So I'm grateful for, and or I'm thankful for, and then I fill it in five times with different things that I'm grateful for, or that I, um, you know, I'm happy to, um, be involved in or have people in my life. So that really kind of helps set the, the tone for the day. And, you know, the more that you get in practice with that, um, you know, you do it in a consecutive 14 days. They say it takes 14 days to create a great habit. So if you do that 14 days in a row, and you share with yourself, writing down what you're grateful for, what you're happy for. Um, it really helps set the tone for the day. So if you have any problems or troubles or, you know, just having a really difficult time thinking about what you're grateful for, start with little steps. So you woke up in the morning. That's something to be grateful for. You have a roof over your head you are grateful for. You have food in the refrigerator, you are grateful for. You have air conditioning or heat, depending on where you are in the country, you are grateful for. And you're grateful to be breathing and that your feet are on the ground and you're just grateful that you are here to spend one more day with your family and your loved ones and your friends. So you know, kind of starting with little baby steps of what you're grateful for. Or it could be that you're making progress in your your health and your wellness journey to improve or to increase your health and your well-being. So, you know, thinking about those little things that you are grateful for that can create happiness in your life. Those are simple, simple things that you can do. And I really am going to try to be live every single day to give you more tips on how that you can improve your life, improve your health, improve your well-being, because really that's what it's all about is not existing, but living, right? So I hope that if you are turning into this, um, you know, comment below where you're, you're are, where you're tuning in from. And if you're new to this group, to this page, to the MS Wellness Coach page, you know, let me know. Say, hi, I'm new. Uh, you know, drop it down below in the comments. And if you are tuning in during the replay, be sure that you comment below and say replay or, um, you know, let me know, share with me your tips or share with all of us your tips on what you do to create happiness. So I hope to uh, see you guys soon and thank you so much for tuning in. Talk to you soon. Bye bye now.